Hi, Aqua Loves. Thank you for being here. It's Elle here to do a reading. Let's get into this. So we're gonna try to stick to this Friday Aqua Love upload. All right, Friday Aqua Love upload. Let's get into it. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right, thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, um, we've got a spread pulled here because I wanted to do something that was um kind of in depth here. Um, what you have in your energy, Aquarius, is somebody who can't get over you. They're actually jealous right now. I don't know if this person has looked into a crystal ball. They have gotten a birth chart reading done on you. I don't know what is going on with this this energy, but it, it kind of stalks the Aquarius reading. This is somebody that you are not with. You used to be with, you used to work with them, not work like um, like a job, but you used to, you were working on a relationship with them, um, but now it is over. You are done, you, you're single or you're not with them, okay? But this person is waiting, they're coming up as waiting, and this card talks about the other man or the other woman or somebody in your energy who is jealous uh, they want what they can't have the green eyed monster and it's funny that the two archetype cards you have are are green like it's like somebody is really desiring to be with you but the, the door is shut you may have even you know you look at them as I, don't, I wouldn't say a friend but the friend card is coming up if you don't look at them as a friend then it's more so like it's friendly vibes even if for some of you you had a family with them you had children with them even if that was the case um you're done with it you still look at them as a friend um nothing more nothing less they look at you as earth mother so they look at you as uh, feeling loved and comforted and comfort um, they also look at you as abundant. You could be the mother of their children or child. They look at you as the one, um, opulence, affluence, beautiful, you know, um, inside and out. You just, you just radiate positivity and creativity. You nurture, you get things done. You know, um, this is how this person is looking at you six of pentacles they could even be in need right now for some of you and if they are not in need it's like they want to come back to you and offer you money or a gift or something to get the power dynamic shifted now maybe you'll start talking to me aquarius if i give you this or if i do this because they're thinking about the good old days the good old times the six of cups here and they're reminiscing they're nostalgic about what you used to have they feel like with you it's home you know they can be themselves it's simpler with you simpler times they've kind of decluttered their emotions and in doing that they see that you you are you know the woman or the man above all you know you could be dealing with a Sagittarius got heavy Sagittarius energy could be dealing with a male cancer don't mind the banging they're fixing something in the kitchen um this is somebody who wants to rush back into your life they feel like they need to finish what they started that's what the knight of wands talks about also i know people and it is an energy of in and out but the knight of wands doesn't leave until he conquers or she conquers until they have finished what they started so it's like somebody wants to come back in and finish this the king of wands this could be somebody who has a high sex drive and a high sex you know sexual desire for you because on the side on the you know the um the cards that fell out with the queen of wands and the devil so it's like a, a and sometimes the king and queen of wands can indicate a toxic or karmic relationship but this came out with the toxic and karmic card the devil so this could and it also just could be about you needing to learn something in regards to this person in regards to this relationship 
you know, um, maybe you guys grew up together. Maybe there was a lot of passion. Maybe it was fiery. It was um, drama filled. It was all about action and no intention. And we're just doing and we're just going. And it's just, but there was no, no set milestones in terms of where you were going. So maybe it turned karmic. It, tar it turned toxic. Somebody could have let a third party come in between the two of you. This person could have done something yeah, in the dark. This person could have been very controlling in terms of money and maybe bettering yourself because they always wanted you to be bound to them. They were ruling out of fear and not out of love their desire to keep you in that same stuck stagnant place because they really knew you know if you grew into the person that you're supposed to be into the energy that you're where you should be that that um you would be dynamic you would be um you know you would conquer so much there would be so magnificent so much magnificence uh had with you or, or coming from you It's like somebody didn't want to let you get the shine or they didn't want you to shine or they knew how bright you were. And this could be smarts and intellect, but just how bright in terms of a person. Somebody kind of held it, held you down, held you back. They didn't want you to grow. They are coming up as um, waiting, jealous, watching you lurking because it looks like Aquarius you're coming up as the earth guardian you're rooted and grounded to something you're hard working you're persevering you're something's growing here within you maybe your spirituality um you're growing into where you should be your life purpose also maybe even your soul purpose yeah, it's like you're going into abundance. They see you as the earth mother and this is pretty much the empress card and you are coming up as the empress. That's funny. They know that that was your energy and you are embodying that energy. It might not be real for you right now, but you are starting something new. You are coming into a new way of existence. You're birthing something new within yourself. And it could be for some of you, a love relationship, a dynamic one, a significant one, a soulmate, a life partner, a twin flame. Well, you know, all of the stuff that this person could see you in this new relationship and they're coming up as jealous. I, I don't know. I just keep getting that. Maybe this person has, you know, gone to the dark side, looked in your, your chart, um, got a reading done on you, something of that nature. Um, and, and this is why uh, they kind of want to show up in your energy. They want to frustrate you. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, they got a reading on you. It's like they, knew, they know your destiny. They know where you're supposed to land. And they were trying to keep you stuck and stagnant and no growth. Maybe even confused, stuck, stagnant, always evaluating yourself or the relationship or your business or the business of you. This person just really, I don't think you saw it or you felt it when you were with them. You felt like maybe they really did have your highest good the, or the good for the relationship and for you you had you thought that they had that you know in you know in their heart the highest good for you and it could be that you know maybe they did they okay so it's not as sinister as you you want to think it is in terms of like okay they they weren't stagnating you and putting you in a place of where maybe they were in control of you they were just ruling out of fear fear of losing you fear of you growing and then outgrowing them so 
Why don't I stagnate the Aquarius? Why don't I not offer growth? And then I'll always have the Aquarius. So it was like trying to dominate and keep something or keep you out of fear-based um, leadership because the King of Wands is about leadership. It's, it's like this person always wanted to keep you in need, keep you needing them. Yeah, this person went to somebody and got some information about you, you know, um, and they felt like as long as they kept you confused or powerless or yeah, they did. They went to a practitioner here on the earth. Yep. Oh, but it looks like now it's like you're about to come into a new relationship, a new situation the lovers, the judgment, you're kind of over it, over the fight, over the toxicity. Maybe you, you're breaking ancestral uh, patterns. Maybe everybody got married, but then they got divorced or nobody got married and they just had children or uh, nobody really had a long-term relationship. It's always drama, it's always this, it's always that you're breaking those patterns. Looks like you're coming into a partnership. It's going to take you to next level. Marriage, long term. It's like you're going to be with somebody for a very long time. Yep. Somebody's going to offer you marriage or something of that nature. You're going to have a this child's father, ex husband, person that was domineering. I mean, they're gonna be extremely jealous and maybe even try to cause problems because they now see you in a consistent, healthy relationship. You're getting what you deserve and it's all gonna come fast for you. You could even get pregnant quickly. Oh, it's gonna whoa, definitely come fast for you. You are in a place of thought, contemplation. Um, because it's like you're going to the next level, you can feel it. Maybe you could even be rekindling with someone. You made the relationship turbulent or drama filled, or maybe your person did also, whomever you're, you're focused on now, because you went through this in the past and you didn't know that you were carrying the burden of, or the chip on your shoulder. But now it's like reunion, reconciliation. You're looking or you're kind of contemplating about what the future will hold. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Therefore, as some of you are getting yourself together, your emotional self together, because you don't want it to be, the two of wands talks about a, a choice, a, a decision actually. And in, it talks about making the right decision and making sure that you make the right decision so it doesn't turn out karmic. Because you got a vision. Uh, you got a vision of love. Mariah Carey had a vision of maybe where you want to be for a very long time, a commitment. And you got, you're doing the soul work. You're doing the soul work or you have done it. Let's see what this deck has to offer you. It's like, you were compartmentalizing all of these relationships as if they didn't, there was no streamline in terms of how they all flow together, how they all connected. Whether connection with family and past ancestral uh, dealings or connections in terms of love and romantic connections, you were kind of compartmentalizing all of these relationships, but they really all were intertwined. Um, so that you can possibly learn something and move on. I knew it. This person went and got a reading on you. Yeah. They went and got a reading on you. They, um, yeah, they went and got a reading on you. Something like that. 
They went in and got your birth chart pulled. They could have been into black magic, the esoteric, all kind of shit. Even with you not knowing. But it's like right now you're coming into romantic dinners. And you're going to start. Wow, I can't make this shit up. You're going to start that business or that. Or you are starting that business or you're starting that relationship. But look what's behind you. This person... This person went in, in um, I don't know, that's some real funky, funky energy right there. It's like they just really wanted to, they could even try to put curses on you or binding spells on you, trying to bind you. They got the nerve to even talk to you right now or try to talk to you and knowing that they've done such wicked things. It's funny, I, I don't even use that word. Um, often but wicked is there such wicked things they could have been physically abusive or there could have been physical abuse when you were with them this person is with somebody who they ain't even half of you. Hell, they ain't even a quarter of you. They're lazy as F, okay? And they know that this person is not real. They fake, they don't contribute, okay? And uh, everything is just fake about them. Everything is fake. They could even be trying to come back to you. Yeah, this person is dealing with somebody who is a prostitute, maybe pay for money, who doesn't do well with one-on-one -on -one connections um they can have like some secret affairs going on either you not excuse me either you're um the person that uh is wanting you back that's done all this wicked stuff or the person that they're with because I, I feel like they're already coupled this person is not a good person you don't just want to, you don't just desire somebody else outside of your relationship when you're with a good person. If you're with a good person, shit, everything is good, right? So they're with somebody who is um, not good, not a good person. And, and this is their karma. This is who was sent for them, sent to them. Let's see if we can get some more energy for the Aquarius. Okay, this person could have contracted an STD or made you contract one. There, this could be you, a white witch. So they black witch, white witch. Someone could be losing, they feel like they're losing the relationship with you. They, they're losing their stability. Most people look at their house as their stability. There could be somebody who's losing a physical house here. I want to clarify this contract in an STD. So maybe somebody is engaging in risky behavior. It could be a Piscean, the hangman, like somebody is taking a step back here. Uh, the universe could be holding you back from this person too because, um, yeah, they could be looking at you or spying on you. All of a sudden, they got something. I don't know if they want to give it to you. They want to bind you and tie you up in this too. My God. Woo. If it wasn't for the Lord that was on my side. Um, let's see what else is going on here. And then we'll close this out. Aquarius, you got good energy coming in for you. You got the white witch, the good witch. And, and for this other person, it's like they're the complete opposite. You could even be embarking on or engaging in a new relationship. And this person is absolutely um, much better. You're a new person. And this other person is absolutely jealous. Yeah. They don't value anything. They didn't value themselves. Yeah. Somebody could be homeless and in need. They're in love with their friend. 
again, in the beginning, we talked about maybe even this person that we were talking about. For some of you, this person could be in need and they see that you have a whole lot of money or you about to come into it because they, they pulled your chart, whomever this is. They want to just apologize, but um, I don't think that will get them that far. Oh, all right. Whoa. All right. So yeah, that, this is it. All right. So this keeps coming out in love with my friend. Oh, okay. All right. So some of them feel like that's what, okay. Friend, friend, friend. Yep. So they feel like you were a good friend. You are a good friend, even though you, I mean, you were a lover and a mother or a wife or whatever, husband, you were a friend. They're, they're in love with you. They don't have that friend aspect with whomever they're with. Wow, they feel like this was the best sex ever. They could be a drunkie, a druggie now. They need help. They just feel like they could talk to you for hours. You're a good conversationalist. You open, you're open. You give good advice. Child abuse is coming out. I don't know if they were abused. You know, child abuse can happen in so many different facets. It doesn't have to be, you know, by way of the belt. It could be, you know, neglect and so forth so maybe this is what they have suffered something about the parent also the parent or their parent played a big major part in maybe the demise of your relationship or how they act or act or react in the relationship with you i feel like this has been over for a very long time but this person just really wants this connection to resurface uh, lastly what does this person want to tell the aquarius okay they're holding back from you. They want forgiveness. They want you to deal with them compassionately. They don't want you to be tough with them. They don't want you to be the hard exterior. Um, they want to come towards you and move towards you. The king of pentacles. Um, they want to tell you that maybe they've gotten themselves together. They have money. Yeah, they want to apologize to you. Justice talks about repayment of debt. Maybe they want to give you money. They feel indebted to you. This, oh, they feel indebted to you because now they're getting their karma for all the shit that they did behind your back, said behind your back, went to people, this and that, practitioners, bop, bop, bop. This person is feeling the pull of the universe from them doing all of this ill shit to you. Wow. Yeah, they just want to get back in good terms and good standing with you. Even if they can't reconcile with you and be in a relationship with you, they want to get in good standings, but they feel like they're going to be met with the queen of swords. And this is how you're going to come out towards them. Wow, this person is getting their karma Aquarius and they and, it, and it's pushing and forcing them to, to maybe make amends, apologize, give you some money, give you anything because it's like... Um, Then they're feeling, okay, so if somebody just continuously for years talks bad about you, does things, bad things, try, tries to manipulate, has been absolutely horrible to you, right? Um, and then you come into knowing who you are and maybe you come into the energy of being the earth guardian, okay? Um, maybe your uh, spirit team really Okay, so look, what you put out is coming back to you, whether it's good or bad, right? So if your person is continuously putting out bad towards you, just directed towards you or anybody, that's coming back to them. But the thing about it is you're human. You have a brain. You understand that if I put out bad towards the Aquarius for so many years, nothing really horrendous happened to me. Um... But then I, I started to see the effects of all this negativity that I've put out towards them over the, I started to see shit happen to me, whether it's my health, my relationships, whether they be romantic, business, platonic. I see all these things happening to me and I can't really make sense of why they're happening to me. Then I have to really go back to, oh, I remember when I was talking bad and I was doing bad things behind the Aquarius back when I was... Um, I had ill intentions, ill will. Um, maybe I'm getting all of that back. And this is why this person wants to come back into your life. You, They did stuff behind your back that you didn't even know. They said stuff 
to people, key people behind your back that you didn't even know about. You still are privy to. And for some of you, you don't give a shit. Because it's like you, you're having your, your day in the sun. You're having your time in the sun. And when you stepped into that white witch energy, maybe you started protecting yourself and your energy more. They started really feeling the pull of all of that negativity. It's got to come back to you. I always tell people you will go, you go and you do negative spells on people, about people. Do keep in mind that you're going to have to repay that. That energy that you put out those demons and all type of stuff you use to go and make negative things happen for you they don't want you to pay up so as it's like maybe your person is dealing with that right now you got nothing but good cards this is this is absolutely um you you're in your thoughts because this person also keeps kind of resurfacing and maybe in your dream space like you keep thinking about them or something of that nature um or they try to you know project themselves to you because i don't think they have access to you i don't think you want this person i don't think you i don't even know if if you guys are in the same vicinity the same state or country yeah this person is engaging in risky behavior They could be trying all together right now they're dangerous for you to engage with because they're dangerous i just heard because they're getting all of that negativity back and you don't want to be anywhere near that they could be materialistic as fuck because they are they're piss poor moral morally like they don't they don't have any substance or substance about them they could have a a physical gambling or actual gambling addiction or they just take risky they do risky things for money they could be the money could be coming slow now with the underpaid at work yeah this person wants you back look that's why they want you back wow because um they feel like they're an intellectual and whomever they're with is an idiot they want to be back with you how they this was peering out they just can't get over you that might even be a part of their karma too we talk about how jealous of you they are they're in some unhappy marriage or relationship and they're lying to everyone whoa because they might be with the town whore this person and i and we saw that too wow aquarius wow they know that they're undeserving of real love. They know that they don't deserve you. They don't deserve that from anybody. And they like shiny things, all things that glitter. You know, you may have blocked them on all social media. They couldn't maintain a relationship. They may even have other people kind of like gang stalking you or stalking you. Again, they're flashy because, um, that's all they really have to offer. Could have a sexual addiction. All right, last last two cards. What do we have to? Okay, that wanted to come out. You, they may have even been caught their person cheating, or they got caught cheating. Okay. They want to bring you in on something. They want you in. Misery loves company. Remember that, Aquarius. When people are doing good, they got money, they're traveling, they're this, they're that. Do they come and call you? They call you and say, come and go with me, Aquarius? No. But when they're miserable as fuck, what do they do? Reaching out. Want to talk. Keep that in mind, Aquarius. That goes for friends, family, love, per people, whatever. If you couldn't call me when, when life was sweet, don't call me right now. I don't want to be a part of that stupid shit. This person wants to be in two different relationships. They could be a cross-dresser, I don't know. They got something going on sexually, okay? 
So yeah, they have some taboo sexual proclivities. They could even be, you know, like into um, maybe cross dressers or um, trans people. This is what they do when they're away from home or away from the norm. Mm -hmm. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. This person is a whole mess, okay? Um, this was a deep dive. So many good things are opening up for you. Um, stay in that positive energy. Stay in the light, okay? Wrap yourself in white light each and every morning. Um, it's like this person is really pulling on your energy because they know that this is last ditch effort. This is last resort. Um, if you pass this test, you're gonna be gone for good. You know, like there's no way back. And they also have gotten themselves entangled and wrapped in something, entrapped in something, and they want you to be there with them, or they want you to be the person to pull them out. Or while you put your hand out to pull them out, they'll pull you down. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, this is making me so upset. I gotta get out of here. This is too much. This is a real shit bag, okay? Ugh. Uh, all links are below get your own personal reading if you feel like this is your story go over to the website readings are 50 percent off right now today and today only take advantage of that um you can do it over the phone over zoom um get your own personal reading or if you have a question or two you can text it to the number below thank you aquarius many blessings to you take care